verb. That means just as adjective talks of something extra about a noun, it tells about the person, it tells something extra about a thing or a place, that is an adjective. But adverb is telling something about a verb. Okay, that means she studies nicely. Now here studies is the verb. And how is she studying? Nicely. So it is telling something extra about the verb and that is called an adverb. Okay. So here are the first few sentences which are given here as an exercise. I'm putting my screen just a second. I'm opening my screen so that you can see. The first is circle the adverbs in these sentences. Gayatri left early. Underline early. Left is the verb and adverb left when? is early. So early is an adverb. Number two, I will meet you tomorrow. Underline tomorrow. Number three, grandma, sorry, grandpa snored loudly. Underline loudly. My father drives carefully. Underline carefully. Sit here. Here is the word. Adverb. Number six, he shouted angrily. Underline angrily. Just a second, children. I'm trying to open the video. It's not opening. Okay. He waited uh, patiently in the queue. Underline patiently. The dog growled ferociously. Underline ferociously. I often go to the park. Underline often. I never eat parathas for breakfast, underline never. I rarely watch plays, underline rarely. Last, the students always speak in English, underline always. Now, can you see the green dabba with adverbs definition here? Just go through it and just read it. Okay, that green dabba. Okay, adverb is the word which tells you something extra, which describes a verb. Okay or an adjective, or another adverb. Now then let us come on to kinds of adverbs. Am I visible to you all? No, ma'am. 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 I don't know what I keep doing. Anyways, I don't know what I keep doing. It's very nice. Anyways. <laughs> kinds of adverbs. Coming on to the first one, adverb of manner. Now, you will only write in your books, uh, in your copies, in your language copies, you write adverb. You write adverb tells uh, is a word which describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. That's it. The first line of the green dabba. Okay. Then kinds of adverbs you write. And in there, you will write adverbs of manner. You'll just write their names. Okay. Now, adverb of manner. An adverb of manner tells you what manner in which the action was take, take, takes place is called adverb of manner. That's the key. The pr princess and the prince lived happily. Now, in what manner they lived? Yes, I'm happily. 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 Yes. So, so in the happily. first one, very good. So in what manner it is telling you. So you write adverb of manner, you will put a dash, and then you write in what manner. Okay, then number two, adverb of time. An adverb of time that tells us the time in which the action takes place is called adverb of time. That means you write adverb of time and then you write the time at which an action takes place. Now, he came yesterday. So what time he came? Yesterday. Okay. Then. Number three, adverb of place. An adverb of place tells us in which an action takes place. Okay. Now, the place in which the action takes place, you will write. Okay. Adverb of place, you'll put a dash and then you'll write the place in which an action takes place. Example, we are waiting outside. Now, where are we waiting? Outside. Okay. I'm outside. Yeah. So, it is adverb of place. Then adverb of frequency. 
Now, adverb of frequency tells us how often an action occurs. So you'll write adverb of frequency, you'll put a dash, and then you'll write how often an action occurs. Example, I meet her daily. Now, how often do I meet her? Daily. Okay, so daily is the word. Yes. The and last... you have to write one, one example also. No, no, leave it. We are already going to do the exercises in the book. So why to bother ourselves with more and more uh, writing work, which is already given in the book. Now, coming to the fifth one, adverbs of degree. An adverb of degree describes the intensity of an action. So you'll write describes the intensity of an action, an adjective or another adverb. Still here. Okay. Example, her work is almost over. So in what degree is it over? Almost. Okay. So these are the five varieties or five kinds of adverbs that you'll do. Come on to exercise A, underline the adverbs and state their kind. Shreya sings sweetly. First underline the adverb, sweetly. And it is adverb of manner. Got it? Excuse adverb me. of manner. Children, are you able to see me? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Badi koshish na kar rahi Number two, the television was kept there. Underline there. Write adverb of place. Mr. Khanna often goes to the theater. Underline often. And write there adverb of frequency. Number four, Messi ran fast to kick the ball. Underline fast. And write adverb of manner. Number five, Sally walked out. Underline out, write adverb of place. Adarsh went to the zoo yesterday. Underline yesterday. Adverb of time. Number seven, mother will buy some vegetables tomorrow. Underline tomorrow. Write adverb of time number eight ma'am hmm. ma in seven days the mother will buy some vegetables tomorrow so ma'am in some we can write frequency also uh, will buy some vegetables some is the quantity sold for the vegetables vegetables is a noun okay Okay, if you see, mother will buy tomorrow. Kharidegi kal. So tomorrow is telling you when she will buy, she will buy tomorrow. Chicken and some vegetables, more vegetables, that more and some is telling you about the vegetables, which is a noun. Okay. So when it uh, adverb is only when it is telling you about a verb. So tomorrow. So it is adverb of time. Did you get it, child? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma is my video visual now? No, no, Actually, I have to Anyway, number eight, Joy rarely speaks, makes spelling mistakes. Underline rarely and adverb of frequency. Number nine, grandmother slept soundly. Underline soundly. Adverb of manner. Sanya Mirza plays tennis well. Underline well and write there adverb of manner. Number 11. When are you expecting them? Adverb of uh, from frequency. Hmm. When are you Underline expecting. And yes, it is frequency. I will cr cross check, but for the time being, you can write here adverb of frequency. Okay, number 12, the children often come here. Underline often, and it is adverb of frequency. Number 13, he behaved rather foolishly. Underline rather, 
and it is adverb of degree. Number fourteen, he drove fast in order to catch the flight. Underline fast. Number thirteen, mummy. Number fifteen, Rajesh reached the event quite late. Underline quite late, quite, and it is adverb of degree. Then last. Geeta is too shy to mingle with people readily. Underline readily, and it is adverb of manner. Now, in this exercise, I would like you all to do one one example of all five which we have done. Clear? That means from exercise A, you will choose Excuse any me, five. First, mm -hmm. listen to me, baby. First, listen to me. In exercise A, you will choose. First, any five with different variety. A adverb of manner, ka le lo, place, frequency, time, degree. Okay, take one one of each, any of them, any five. Right there, any five of different kind. Okay. A exercise you will do in your copies. Gargi, will you stop the recording now so that I can answer your questions now? Yes.